ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great War Redux, where today we'll be playing, well, the Russian Empire. That's right, we will not capitulate, we will win. Pfft. Yeah, actually, I'll try to do that. So the plan is to just do the historical path and hopefully succeed. Why? Oh, I just want to try something. Okay, don't, don't blame me too hard. Sorry. So straight off the bat, I will go to crushing the strike movement and then we'll start industrializing a bit. It's time to reaffirm our unity with the Entente because, well, France is our ally? Oh no, Mr. Tolstoy has died. Anyway, we're about to crush the strike movement, so finally some good news. Now we can focus on building up our economy, finally. Now, it's time for us to start modernizing our military at least a bit, so it won't be in complete shambles once the war starts. Oh goody, the Balkan war just started. Come on, you got this Balkan lake, I believe in you. <laughs> well, obviously we'll send them help, like, there are bros or something. Oh, shocker, the Balkan League has won. Who didn't see this one coming, eh? Oh boy, Bulgaria is getting the... <laughs> nice treatment from all the sides. I feel like we are somewhat properly prepared. We just need these guys to have full equipment, which we're missing a bit, but we're Russians, we're used to that. Plus, we did build a few forts, so we're more than good. Yeah, not gonna lie, but I'm pretty confident we're ready. We, un we even have extra supplies, like, when has that ever happened in Russian's history? Now, Austria might have, divisions-wise, more troops than us on the border, but... I think these are their weak divisions, I'm not sure, because I haven't played as Austria-Hungary in a while, but... Just pure numbers-wise... We, we got the advantage on at least the Austrian front. The German one, eh, we're around the same, I think, but it's good, it's good. Oh boy, Franz Ferdinand has just been assassinated, which you all know what that means, drumroll please. World War I, baby. <laughs> oh boy, the French loaned us, nice. Now, I will wait for 28th of July so the war breaks out so we can just get the professional army ASAP. Yay, war has started and the Germans are on a hard offensive against us. Damn, I wasn't expecting that, but still. Okay, we have been able to turn at least a good amount of the red arrows into green ones, so hopefully all of them will turn because I don't really want to lose much land, if any. Okay, we're gonna go on a bit of an offensive against the Austrians, try to capture at least a few of their local supply hubs, so their front will be at least a bit harder to hold for them. Ooh, the Austrians are launching a daring assault on our positions, which means counterattacks are inbound. Plus, I mean, Serbia is pushing them back, so you know it ain't good for them. At this point, I'm just waiting for the Ottomans to join the war so we can push them out and just dominate them, really. <laughs> well, our front is somewhat holding. We lost three tiles against the Germans so far. But we have gained a bunch against the Austrians, so you win some, you lose some? We have encircled three Austro-Hungarian divisions, and now it's time to just finish it off. Now that the Germans are doing a massive push against us, we'll try to counter one in Prussia, since I don't think their troops are that strong here, and I think you can actually get to Königsberg, maybe even Danzig. Oh boy, you know it's getting serious when the Germans have spread out their troops even to the Austro-Hungarian border. Let's go, Italy has just joined us, I'm sure they're not gonna mess anything up or lose. I mean, worst case scenario, they're just gonna switch sides. Oh, and just as they have, well, the Italians joined war, the Ottomans did it as well, great news. On the bright side, at least we have almost bled the Austrians dry a bit, and the Germans, well, they're not far behind either, so... Okay, we were able to take Mosul, which is a major supply hub in Iraq. But the Germans have launched an all-out offensive against us, so we gotta wither one of those down again. My boys, we have taken Mabel, which means we can get to Königsberg. Even though we have lost a bit of Poland, we'll gain Prussia. Hold up, what the fuck is this? Italy is actually advancing? It, let me check the script, that's not allowed! Boys, we have just broken through the Austrian lines, and we have taken Lvov, I mean Lemberg, I mean whatever this thing is, and we will push towards Pshemishil next. Alright lads, we have taken Pshemishil, which is the really 
last major supply hub in this area, so we should be able to destroy this whole eastern front now. Let's go, we encircled another five divisions of the Austrians, and with this I think they're f I can just advance towards Budapest itself. And another one. I don't know what exactly the Ottomans were planning here, but I just see a gap in their front, a lot of gaps in their front line, so let's use it to capitulate them. Wait, what? The Ottomans just capitulated? I mean, sure, but how did that happen? <laughs> I mean, since the Ottomans have capitulated, we can just focus all our forces on defeating Germany now. I mean, there's nothing else we have to do. Okay, we'll try to push through the Carpathians now, into Slovakia, into Hungary, and in towards Vienna. Yeah. I've been able to get through towards Slovakia, but we're just gonna run short out of steam <laughs> right before reaching it itself, but... We'll continue on later on. Okay, uh, let's be real, we can just chill for a bit now and let our artillery supply build up. Uh, we may be missing a few guns. Oh boy, Romania has just joined the war. I don't know if this is good news or bad news. Good news on the Austrian front, very bad news regarding uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> also, the state of Thessaloniki has just happened, so multiple fronts? opened i guess that should be good it should divert some of the austrian forces however germany is still strong and have lots of reserves done they oh no franz joseph has died i don't know how that's bad news for me but he's dead and carl the first is here okay let's launch our first official offensive a full-on offensive into austria hungary i think we can break through and just get somewhere close to budapest hopefully but I'll, I'll shut my mouth now, so I don't jinx it. Yep, it seems like we have been able to at least somewhat hinder the Austrian army. I'll hinder it well enough for us to just do the massive push now. Let's, soon enough we'll have to start fighting for Budapest, we're only one tile away from it. Well, the Germans are launching a rather foolish offensive against us. We will try to exploit it as much as possible and just push them back at least a bit. Oh, the Zimmermann telegram. That's good news for us, isn't it? Because it means the US of A is about to join any minute now. And the Germans, well, I think they should start suffering now real big. <laughs> the Germans really are going all into this offensive. I mean, I get it because of the debuffs they'll get or they already have. I'm not sure, actually. But they're going all in and that's the point of it. And we have caused... A good amount of casualties for them. How does the Antant to Taunt have so many troops here and they're doing nothing? Just push into Germany and end the war, damn it. You have us all on our own in the east, fending off three factions while you are just here sitting, doing nothing. On the bright side, we're fighting in Prussia now and, well, still, we haven't retaken Poland yet, but that's next on the agenda, okay? I have no clue how the Germans are pushing, well, how the Austrians and Germans are still pushing into me since we have inflicted so many casualties on them. Like, brother, we have 71% war participation. Oh, finally, France is pushing. <laughs> oh, my lord, that took way too long for them to move, get a move on. Like, look at the Eastern Front and all the casualties. And on the Western Front, nothing was happening for so long. Hold up. How the beep did we run out of manpower? We're Russia. What? When did that happen? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna sit tight and wait for a bit, so our manpower recovers at least for the garrisons. Because I didn't even realize we had to garrison that many places. Oh good, India will fulfill our garrison support, that should free up some manpower. I mean, at least the Entente, Entente, Entente went on the offense now and they're already in the, well, almost in Saarland. Yeah, this should be the end for the Germans since they're running out of manpower as well and the French have launched a massive offensive into them. But let's not forget, that's basically because of us, like 4 million casualties to them, 1 million to Austria, Hungary, like we know who did the heavy lifting, wink. Oh boy, and just now the influence of pandemic has started. What else can go wrong in this timeline, well, world? Oh boy, Hungary has split away from Austria, it seems. That's 
Huh, who could have seen this one coming? It's almost as if Austria is gonna fall apart. This time we will take Prussia for sure. Yay, Austria, Hungary has collapsed. Now we just need to well, loot its corpse. No oh boy. Um, why did Poland and West Ukraine break free? That's... I, I don't like this. I, I would much more prefer for this to be our territory. Also, I forgot. Armistice at Champagne has happened, so... Uh, GG Germany, you tried... Yeah, that's all. Here we go. The treaty has already begun. And now the peace talks are in order. Boys, the peace has been concluded. Sadly, we didn't get West Galicia and... No. Bielitz? So, but otherwise, very nice. Also, we got Constantinople, so we finally have the answer to the age-old question. Constantinople is in fact Russian. There you have it, folks. Yeah, sure, let's join the League of Nations. I don't know what it will do, but sure. Oh, Yugoslavia unified. That's cool, I guess, or something. I'm just waiting for something to happen to us. If nothing happens in, like, let's say two years, I'm just gonna end the video. Boys, we have decided to embrace the democratic values and Mr. Nikolai has not, not really stepped down, but he has taken a back seat to our ruling, so yeah. Hold up, we can declare war on the Turks? Hoo <laughs> What? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, guys, you're just too much of a threat. I'm sorry, but we're gonna end you right here, right now. Let's help the Ottomans. <laughs> Easy, my friends. See, we get the quick dub against the national movement and Greece gets to keep its territory. Italy gets to keep its territory. Everybody's happy. Now, let's convene the fifth state of Duma. Wait, why is Afghanistan at war with the UK, huh? I will end the video here since we have completed everything we could do in this campaign. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all had fun watching it. If you made it this far, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you want what it is. Otherwise, have a very nice rest of your day and until next time, bye bye.